Hey guys, welcome back. I've had the Galaxy S22 Ultra since it was released a few months back, and I've found five apps that you can use to customize your phone to make it completely yours as well as simplify your life. I'm gonna show you those five apps today. Let's jump into the video. All right, so jumping right into the first app, as you know, you're able to have either a three button layout for navigation or you can have the swipe up. And then of course, if you wanna go back, you can swipe over from the side and go back that way. One hand operation is an app that you can use to improve those swipe gestures on the left and right of your phone to be able to include not only a back swipe, but you can have all sorts of, of tools. So just for example, I'll turn this on for you. And what I have set is you can set first how high you want the screen, the swipe to be. So if you don't want anything up here, you don't have to. And then I still have the side panel on there. So it just goes to right here. And then for the left handle, I swipe from the that left side over. It's going to be three different options that you can use. So if you swipe straight across, you can still do back. And then if you swipe down from the left, you can turn your screen off or there's lots of different options. Now for the right side, this is really useful. I love using this side. You can use straight across. The previous app is what I have. Up to turn on the flashlight, up again to turn it off. And then from the right side going down, this is awesome. You can use quick tools. So this allows you to turn your brightness up and down you have your volume rocker, play, pause, skip music. You can turn your Wi-Fi, all those things on and off. So if you go up here to the top, that's where you can change what actions you want for those swipe gestures. And the quick tools is the one I'm talking about here. You can even change which ones are there. You can add any of these. So really you can have so much because it, it can be difficult when you're in an app and you have to go all the way to the top and pull this down to be able to change something here. Just swipe down and you have that option right there where your thumb's at. Another great thing about one hand operations is there are advanced settings. So you can go into the advanced settings and that's gonna give you a lot more customization for this. For example, the animation that you use, you can see there I have a little arrow you can change that to be in a different types of arrows. You can also change the colors. So when you pull over, see that's blue now instead of gray. I personally like the gray. But you can really customize this to be anything that you want. Another thing that I think is very helpful is app exceptions. I've noticed that once I turned this on, there was a couple apps, specifically games, that I didn't want to have in this mode a left and right, as you can see, they're still here on horizontal, which I think you can turn those off on landscape right there. But if you don't want them on specific apps, then you can simply just go ahead and click into app exceptions and just toggle those off. So if you're in a specific app, you're not going to have those showing up at all. Now these customization steps are going to get progressively more complex, starting with the simplest of one hand operations. The next one that you're probably familiar with, familiar with is Bixby routines. This is a great way to simplify your phone and to make it something that you can use and uh, basically have things happen on your phone that you're not going to have to worry about. So Here's a couple examples. When I'm driving, I like to change the lock screen shortcuts to phone and messages. When it's locked, turn the Bluetooth on and turn up the processing speed. So that's just an example there. Save battery at night is a great one. If my phone is not charging, basically you set these if and then conditionals and that will basically give you certain scenarios that your phone will automatically do something for you. And this is just baked into Galaxy devices, which is really helpful. But uh, if your phone is not charging and the time is between 1 a.m. and 8 a.m., then turn on power saving mode. That's very useful, very simple, but definitely very helpful. Another one is if I'm at home, I want to keep my phone always unlocked. That's a simple one there. And there's really quite a bit of different things you can do with this. So if you have a Galaxy Buds, you can have that. If you have them connected, turn your media volume to this specific amount so they don't blast in your ear. <laughs> 
keep your phone unlocked and change your lock screen shortcuts. So there's really a wide variety of things that you can do with Bixby routines. So definitely go and check that out. All right, now we're gonna check out number three and that is GoodLock. This is one of the best apps that you can get to customize your Galaxy device. Get it in the Galaxy store if you don't have it already. I'm gonna show you a couple of the different apps that you can download to improve your experience on your phone, but there's a lot more that I'm not gonna cover that you can check out later. So Home Up is one that is a very simple change to the UI of One UI. And that is basically once you download it, you can change the home screen grid to have different size, uh, different amount of icons. And then folder is what we wanna go into and turn on pop-up folder. So all this does, if I turn this off, you can see I open up a folder here and it's like a full screen thing, kind of an immersive thing, which I personally don't love. If we turn this on, it simplifies it so that if you have a lot of folders on your phone, all you have to do is click in here and it shows a very small version so you can click out easily. I think that is very useful and it's just a lot more, a lot more clean. The next one's fantastic. This, if you use your S Pen, you can change up what your S Pen cursor looks like. This is really cool. You can change it from default, basic. You can have custom ones. And you can even change what the um, style of the drop downs look like for your S Pen. So if you wanna just have no text, then you can do that and make it compact. Theme Park is really cool. You can change the whole theme of your phone, including the keyboard. Lockstar is very nice. You can be able to add certain things on your lock screen, such as clocks and always on displays. Keys Cafe goes alongside with the theme park, which is basically you can completely customize the size of your buttons and everything on your keyboard. Navstar, you can change if you don't like the swipe and you either have the three buttons you can change what those buttons look like. And you can see some of the ones that I have downloaded. Nice Shot is a really convenient one and it's super simple. As you know, when you take a screenshot, it doesn't show a way to delete those screenshots. All you do is download Nice Shot from the uh, Good Lock and then you add delete button here. So when you're taking a screenshot, you're actually gonna have the option to be able to delete that right on the spot rather than having it go into your gallery. So make sure you check these out. There's a lot in here. Multistar is another one I wanna point out in Good Lock. Go ahead and download that. And there's a lot of different options in here, but the one specifically I wanna show you is a pop-up view action. So when you download this and turn this on, you can change the size here and you can see in the top right corners, there's these little blue squares. What you can do is you can just pull down in the app that you're in, in that corner, and make a pop-up app right then and there from whatever app you're in. You can move that around. As you know, there's multitasking on, on uh, S22 Ultra on previous devices, which is really handy. You can minimize that and open up another app. We'll say, Open up another app here and you can go ahead and make that one smaller. So you can have multiple apps moving around right here just because of that simple multi-star right there. That's super helpful. So that's going to wrap it up for number three. And number four is called Automate. So this app is awesome. If It's basically like a glorified Bixby routines, but you're going to have a lot more customization with the things that you want to do with your phone. Now I'm a software engineer, and so this feels a lot like coding basically on your phone, but not with a lot of code. It's more just like picking and choosing different things that you want to do and put those together to make a sequence of things that happen depending on certain conditions. So I'll show you a simple one that I made. Um, you turn this on and I go ahead and edit this. All this does is when the you start with the flow and you can add in these different cards basically and join them together and it says you start it up and it will always be running basically and when the screen turns portrait then it will send a little toaster message that says portrait otherwise it'll go over here and it'll say landscape so if we go back and start this and i turn my phone like this you'll see it says landscape right there. Turn it back 
and it says portrait. There are so many different things that you can do. That is the simplest one that I could show you. Here's a little compass one I think is really cool that I found from the community. You start this up and what it does is it goes through, first I'll just show you all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. So there's all these different conditions that happen depending on different variables and times and it forks to different places depending on if it's a yes or no. So starting this up, basically what it will do is start a compass in your notifications, which is really cool. So if I just go down right here, I can see that I have a northeast. I turn it like this, and now it's saying north, turn it this way. So that's just, it's really cool to be able to see that just showing up in your notifications. So make sure you check out Automate. There's more flows you can see and you open it up and there's all these categories that people have already made. Productivity, for example. You can look through these and just see so many different ones and you can click on those and edit them yourselves uh, to change them how you want or change any of the aspects to these. This will customize everything with your phone and really make your life a lot easier once you set these up. I had one at one point where I was texting my wife when I was driving, I got to a certain location, it would text my wife for me and say I made it to work. That's just one example and there are so many others that you can find to use with Automate. So the last one is a lot more of a visual uh, aesthetic type of customization and that's the KWGT, the custom widget app. Now you can find this on the App Store, just search KWGT and it's right there. It's the custom widget maker. So that's what it's called. Once you have that, you don't really need to open it there. What you can do is go to an empty screen and hold down, go to your widgets and then go all the way down to the K, the custom widget right here. And it really doesn't matter what size you click, just add one. And then once you have that, you can see right here, I already have a few up here. You can just resize that how you want. Oops. Just like that. Once you resize it to the size that you want your widget to be, click on it. So once you uh, open up that widget, you'll see here's the app and it'll show discover new packs on the explore tab. These are gonna show all these different third party people that have made widgets up because of from this app. So you can look through those. They're on the Google Play Store, but you can also see them in here. And there's all kinds of widgets, and you can take any of these and customize them how you like yourself. I'm gonna show you a couple that I have customized myself, just to give you an idea of the things that you can do. So for one, on the home screen, I have made all my apps. Since I can only have five apps side by side, I decided to make a widget built out of apps. They look like apps, but they're actually one giant widget. So I've made it so that these have each individual pictures, which are made up of an icon pack. And then you click on those and that will open up a app for you. But because One UI only allows you to have five apps from left to right, I wanted to have more and make them smaller and white. That rhymed. <laughs> um, this made it possible. Um, you can also build something simple like this. I took two different widgets and customized them how I wanted to and put them together. So I have the time and the date here and then I also have at the top right this little widget that is the weather app. So super useful and you can customize what actions they have. So here opens up the clock and this one will actually open up the weather. And uh, so that's very useful as well. And here's a couple more you can see. There's so many different options. Those are a few that I liked. That's the one that I customized there. But there are so many and you can click in these and be able to update basically all this different information. Change the text, change the colors, be able to put different shapes and pictures. There are so many different things that you can do with the KWGT app. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for my five customization apps that you can use on your Galaxy S22 Ultra. 
Keep in mind, these may work for other Android devices, but some of them are Galaxy phone specific. Let me know what app was your guys' favorite, and are you already using some of these? Let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure you hit that like button if you found value in this video. It takes a long time to make these videos, and it took a long time to find these apps. So make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more videos on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.